Right guys, so welcome back to a brand new video and something that's been pretty highly requested in my comment section and it is regarding the practice programs on the F1 2019 game. So for about two years now, I've found a way to pretty much efficiently maximize a practice session and do it in the quickest way possible and with the least amount of time possible. And uh, this is doing all of the, of the programs or most of them and you know scoring most points basically not cutting any corners and trying to make sure that we always try and get the most available points to us so I'm going to give you guys a little tutorial here today on how to do it. I'm going to try and keep this video around six to seven minutes long hopefully it doesn't get too long and then you guys can actually see all the way through and it doesn't really bore you to death and I'm going to try and also give you guys every single detail and uh, hopefully you guys will appreciate it and you can use this in your own career modes and you might find a trick or two in this one because it, me personally for example I don't do the ERS program in practice so you're going to see why in this video here today so first of all step one when you jump into the race weekend for your career mode the the first thing you want to do is lower the difficulty for practice because it will make all the objectives and all the programs a lot easier to achieve and therefore you can score much higher points. So in this weekend we're here in Mexico I'm running 105% AI. I will also keep it on 105 for qualifying and then I go up to 106 for the race. We now move into step number two and you need to look at your objectives. When you load up into practice, you go onto the monitor and you look at the practice objectives and you can see on the screen we have R&D objectives on the left which is for upgrades and then team objectives on the right hand side. And uh, in this particular race weekend there was a missing objective which I normally get nine times out of ten which is called the car setup which also is another one that you, that you may get. And I'm going to show you guys how to get all of these, especially the car setup one, because the car setup objective, even though it's not my screen, it does say you need to do two separate laps with two different setups in practice. So what you do is to hit all of these steps and make sure you don't leave no stone unturned is step number three, which is in the track acclimatization, you want to go to the track and do this practice program with a default setup, because that way you would have done at least one lap with the regular car setup and then eventually you're going to load up a custom one and do another lap with that one so as you can see um, whilst doing this practice program you're going to hit secondary targets like top speed as you can see there on the left hand side of the screen and uh, all those little small goals for example again here as you can see going through turn number five uh, we've got chain five corners as well so we're hitting these even just by you know, doing a lap without even meaning to it just happens naturally and the final one as we cross the line here we are going to complete the program and achieve the fuel consumption upgrade which is good so we've already done three of the objectives and uh, that's a good start so we can actually make that four as we get a clean lap objective as well so we've also done the first practice program we've got a purple score maximum points so a very good start to the weekend and you can see on the screen right now we've only we're only missing the fast sector one which is a qualifying objective and uh, the consistent objective so we're going to work on those now so we now move to step four and again custom setup but this is important for time management and the fuel consumption programs and why is it important because as i said before there's normally an objective called car setup and uh, need, you need to run two different setups over the race weekend so now you're actually using your race slash custom setup in this and uh, we're going to go through both of these programs you know pretty straightforward procedure i do recommend doing both pro both programs on the exact same tire so even though you do the tire management first go back on the exact same tire later on and do the fuel management with it because then you save a set of tires just in case and also as you can see on screen we hit the consistent objective so at the minute you can see on screen we've hit three purple scores in track acclimatization tire management and fuel management and you may think ERS management is the next program but it's not what we do is we first of all we check the weather forecast and this is something you do at the start of the weekend of course um, very important because you need to see what the plan is and uh, we've got a dry race which is very very important so we now move into the race strategy program and because it's going to be a dry race the, the data we collect from this is going to be accurate so in this program you want to make sure you're running a custom setup and you're driving flat out at maximum speed because you need to be driving as if it were the race because this is going to calculate your fuel and tire wear to calculate your race strategy at the start of the Grand Prix weekend so you can see here we're going through the motions and uh, building up the points and we are going to eventually uh, go from the green score of 30 onto the purple score of 50 and that's going to draw a close to this practice program and so far so good you know the weekend's gone well we've hit purple in every single practice program but we're not there 
yet. Reason being is because you can see on screen we still have two programs to go, the ERS management and the qualifying pace. And also in terms of the objectives, we still have a far sector one in the qualifying pace practice program remaining. So we are gonna focus on that now and do it next. So first of all, the final tip is to be very slow on your outlap for the qualifying performance test because you may overheat, especially if you're on season five like I am and the cars are super, super fast, you may overheat your tires. So it's important to get the tires below 90 degrees Celsius as we speed things up here. We now get underway for the lap. And again, the target is to get a fast sector one. So I put all my eggs into the basket and I hit overtake mode on the ERS. And you can see here we cross the sector split and we do get the final objective, maximizing sector one. And now all you've got to do is make sure the lap is fast enough to beat the time threshold on the top right. And you need to beat it by quite some way because that's only going to give you a green score. But if you go really fast, like I did here, you're going to get the purple score straight away and score maximum points. And that will be a way to complete the session and also get all of the points perfectly going p1 in the session and beating the threshold and therefore you can see on screen uh, first place job done and now you can see on screen we've hit all of the team objectives we've hit all the r&d objectives and we've got purple in track acclimatization tire management fuel management qualifying pace and race strategy which means at the bottom of the screen 335 out of 335 and we don't need to do the ers management and even if we did you can see on screen on the bottom right available resource points zero because we've already got all of them so you're, you're basically using your career mode engine for no reason you're better off saving the power unit because you're not going to get any data or any r d points for doing the program and you're just wasting your time so this is exactly how to maximize and produce a perfect practice session guys on f1 2019 or f1 2018 or 17 or probably 2020 as well guys hopefully you found this tutorial informative i will do an updated video on, on this on f1 2020 if that changes or you know when, whenever the game releases but either way if you guys enjoy this video then drop a like and subscribe if you are new for more f1 tutorials there will be a link down below guys to the playlist where i've done all previous tutorials before but hopefully you guys enjoy this video and i'll see you guys in my next one very soon but until then let's goodbye from me